I'm Tom from Stuff at MWC 2015, and I've got a stupid grin on my face because I've just come out of a demo of this, the HTC Vive, um, and my mind's a little bit blown. So you've got two lasers in the room that, that, that position you in a 3D world, so you're not, the game isn't coming to you, the demo isn't coming to you, it's, you're interacting with it. You can walk around, touch things, there's a paint demo, uh, there was an, uh, a section of undersea where I'm standing on the uh, on the deck of a, of a sunken ship, fish swimming around, you can sort of touch the fish with the controller, huge whale comes in, nearly wet my pants, it's, it's incredibly immersive, uh, completely blew my mind, and I want one right now. Of course you do look like a dork when you're wearing it. So there are 70 sensors involved between the ones you can see here on the headset itself and the ones that are built into the two controllers. Um, and they, the, the lasers track each of those sensors so you know what you're looking at, what you're doing, how you're holding the controller. You're able to, in the demo, pick things up with the controllers which have got, so it's two independent controllers. They've got triggers underneath uh, your, your four fingers, um, triggers underneath and touch pads with, with uh, feedback and it really feels like it feels like a physical space that you're in. So you've got two 1080p screens delivering 3D, there's at the moment just a little bit of blur to edges, it's not it's not pin sharp um, but this is very much a prototype device, um, HC are doing a lot of work on it. One of the big things is how it's going to work, uh, I mean I, I was standing there in a, in a square room with no furniture. Um, the idea of how that might work in a real lounge with coffee tables, sofas, dogs, cats is something that HTC is looking into. I suspect maybe there might be two kits, one that has the sensor set up uh, and one without that's, that's slightly more passive. Um, I was really impressed with the, with the way the controllers feel and they, they're both um, prototypes as well. But they feel really good in the hands. Um, it becomes extremely natural very, very quickly um, to use those. Uh, as sort of pointers, grabbers, as an extension of your hands essentially. It's been a long show, uh, a few late nights, I was a little bit concerned about uh, motion sickness, anything like that, nothing of the sort, it felt very natural, no, uh, at no point was there any, any sense of queasiness uh, other than when that whale turned up. The big surprise was at the end of the demo uh, I got to play uh, a, a demo of a game that, that would be very familiar. Um, it was Portal 3, uh, which I suspect by the time you see this uh, will have been officially announced at GDC. Um, and it, essentially, you, you, are, you are part of that game, um, which is, I think, a dream come true to many nerds. And yeah, completely blew my mind. For all the rest of the MWC 2015 news, keep your browser pointing at stuff.tv and keep following us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+.